Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will teach you how to download or better to say clone a model and all the files from a Hugging Face website in Linux. Online I have seen a number of incomplete tutorials showing how to download only a single file from the Hugging Face website. So they say something like this, go to the Hugging Face website, search for your, your model, for example I will click on this one, then click here on files and you can simply download a single file. However, you cannot download the repository and they don't explain how to download all the files. In this tutorial, we explain how to download everything. That is, all the files, all the subfolders and everything. We will completely replicate the structure of the remote repository on our local computer. Here, we assume that the files and the complete model are publicly available. In the next tutorial, we explain how to download files that require user login. This tutorial explains how to perform this task in Linux and in the next tutorial, we will explain how to perform this task in Windows. Okay, so first of all, we have to install Git in Linux. Git enables us to download remote software repositories and to have a disciplined way of tracking software changes and managing different software versions such that we can always go back in time if we experience a bug. Most likely you already have Git installed, however I will still teach you how to install Git since it's a very good practice to learn how to install things in Linux. So first of all let's open a terminal window. Here it is. And over here I will resize it such that you can see what I'm typing. Okay. Every time you want to do something in Linux, you have to write these two commands. That is, every time you want to install a software, you need to update and upgrade. This command, sudo apt-get update, updates the list of available packages and their versions, but it does not install or upgrade any packages. After updating the list, the package manager knows about available updates for the software you have installed. So once you update the list of packages, you need to run sudo apt-get to upgrade. This will install newer version of the packages you have. And you can run both of these commands by a single line. You can just simply type this, sudo apt-get update, and here you have and apt-get upgrade. So let's enter this, and here it is. Okay, now, you most likely have a Git version, and you can probably see it like this if you have it, and you can see I already have it. However, let's pretend that we don't have Git and let's learn how to install Git. To install Git, you simply need to execute this command. And here I will press yes and probably this will even update my Git version. So let's see what will happen. Actually, I entered Git all, which is even more advanced option. Good, and let's see now Git version. Okay, you can see 234.1. Good. However, the story doesn't end here. We also need to install Git support for downloading large files. If you do not perform this step, you will only download smaller files and you will not be able to download large models from Hugging Face. To do that, we need to install this nice tool called Git LFS. So let's go to the website of Git LFS. And on this website, and here it is, you can see how to install it. First of all, you need to add the package cloud repository. Since we are on the Ubuntu system, we need to execute this. We need to use curl. So let's copy this. Let's go to the terminal and let's paste. This is the first command. Okay. The next step is actually to install packages and we install the packages by actually executing this command. And here it is. As you can see over here, the package is already installed on my system. However, in your case, you will see the installation progress. Good, let's continue. Okay, so what's the next step? Now we are ready to explain how to download or better to say how to clone the remote 
Hugging Face repository. But however, before we do that, let's create a new folder. So let me just do this. Okay, so what I will do over here, I will go to my home folder. You do it like this, where this tilde is a shortcut for the home folder. And then let's see where I am. I'm in the home folder. And over here, I will create a new folder called, for example, test download. Okay, then I will go to that folder. And obviously, it's empty. We're going to download the remote repository to this folder. So how to do that? First of all, we need to go to the Hugging Face website. I will click over here. And over here, you can search for your model. I will use Florence 2. Florence 2 is a machine learning and computer vision algorithm and a model that's very useful. I created a video tutorial explaining the basics of Florence 2. You can watch that video tutorial. So I'll click here and over here you can see the main page of your online repository. So where are the files? Here are the files. You need to click on files and versions and we are going to download everything for he from here. For us the most interesting part is actually this big file and without LFS git tool if you simply git clone this repository, you will not be able to download this file. That's why we needed git LFS. Okay, so click over here and let's learn how to download. First of all, to download, you need to do, or better to say, the copy the base address of the Hugging Face website. So I will do it over here in my terminal over here such that you know what I'm doing okay so what do I'm typing here here is the base address then on top of that base address you need to specify the address of the model or the repository that you want to download in my case I will simply copy this model name over here and I will paste here good so this is the complete address of Florence too large and you notice you can notice over here that that's precisely this URL address very good let's continue once we have this address we can actually execute git clone so let's learn how to do so the generic command is given over here we type git clone and we need to type the remote address in our case the complete command will look like this and notice over here that I added this progress verbose parameter since I want to simply plot or track the progress and print the progress of the download process. So let's do that. Of course, you can execute git clone without these two parameters. However, I like them. So I will copy this. I will go to my terminal and I will simply paste it. So let's check again. Git clone. Then over here I have this progress, verbose and the address and here it is and you can see what's happening you're downloading now what i like to do over here i like to run one very nice program that will track the download progress or how much it's being downloaded track the traffic so i will first install it and then i will simply run it and if you run this program you will see basically that you're downloading from you can see from where and you can see how much it's being downloaded and you can of course see that my Firefox is also active so this is my github download and it's already completed I think yes so you don't see anything special over here okay so let's verify that everything looks good so first of all let's do this aha uh -huh. and then I can see Florence too large so let's go to Florence too large and inside of this folder you actually have everything right this is a complete clone or a complete copy of the remote repository so let's verify that how can we verify that well let's look into this file this is the largest file pytorch model bin so let's go here and let's see where is pytorch model bin Okay, so it's over here, PyTorch model bin, here is the size, 1.54 gigabyte, and over here I have 1.54 gigabyte. Perfect, let's check some other file. So for example, we have this file sample inference 
Python, so this file is also large. So let's check that this file actually exists. Sample form inference, here it is. Perfect. Okay, so that would be it. Now, in this tutorial, I, I explained how to download a public repository. So what is a public repository? The public repository is a repository that you can download or you can access without actually signing up. However, there are different type of repositories that are private repositories and for them you will need to sign up and you will have to set up few things and then the download process will be a little bit different. In the next video tutorial I will explain how to download the private repositories.